good afternoon, pilgrims again. I'm sorry I'm looking kind of down over my glasses. It's because when I look up, there's the glare of the screen. So um, I'm going to do a short video with a screen share on how you can uh, use booking.com because some people haven't used it before and they're not sure how to use it. So let me put on screen share. And I don't know, let's see. So I'm gonna go first to booking.com. And uh, when it pops up, you'll see that I have upcoming trip on here because I've booked for all my people. Um, let's say I wanna start my trip in Madrid. I'll type in here, Madrid. And it's gonna give me some options. The community of Madrid is like the big whole thing in Madrid. Madrid City Center would be right in the center. If I'm going to the airport and I just wanna spend one night and then go back to the airport, I might choose this option. This is an option I might choose if I, um, so let me start over. When I fly into Madrid, I try to get there in the mornings. And the reason I try to get there in the mornings is because then I have the whole day full of options to catch a bus, either to St. John Pied-de-Port or to Pamplona if I'm going. If you can't get a flight that arrives in Madrid in the morning, but rather one late at night, then you may wanna choose this option uh, to stay near the airport. So the next morning you can get up, go back to the airport, and either get on a bus to Pamplona or to St. jean pied de port or get on a bus to the bus station so you can catch a bus somewhere else. So let's just choose this for a minute and see what we get. I'm gonna say it's just for one person for one night. And let's see, I'm gonna do it for, I'm gonna do it for a Thursday. Usually I try to fly on a Wednesday or a Thursday because the flights are less expensive and so is the lodging. Um, let's see what happens when we pick this one. Also, my prices may be lower than yours because I book here so often. Now, this map thing that pops up is new. That hasn't been happening until just this week and it drives me mad. Um, it's good in some ways because you can look at this map and see all the different options you have. Here's terminal two at the airport, but there are different terminals. Um, these little things with red around them mean uh, it's unavailable, the hotels are unavailable, but if they have white around them, then that means they're open for, for looking at lodging, but that's not what I wanna do right now. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go down to the filters. I want to look for one that has a free airport shuttle because I wanna go back to the airport in the morning and I want them to take me for free. I don't wanna to have to pay for a taxi. Um, I'd like to have a place that has a very good review score. All right, I, sometimes I'll take the number seven review scores, but I'll just look through those reviews to make sure. And the one that keeps popping up is this hostel, Viki. One thing that's important is that it says free cancellation and no prepayment needed. That's important because I may change my trip. I may change my mind. My flight may get canceled or changed. So it's important that you look for the ones with free cancellation. Let's go see what they have. When I click on that, it'll bring up the screen showing me photos of the place. Looks pretty nice. I can either just scroll through a few of the reviews here or I can look at 7,000 of them if I want to by clicking up here, which I'm not gonna do. <clears throat> if I read this, it tells me it offers a free 24 hour airport shuttle. That's good news. I like that. It has non-smoking rooms, which is good. It has Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi in the USA and it's free. Uh, keep going down. And by the way, let me mention, when you're staying in any of these lodgings where there's free Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi, uh, don't do your banking there because that's a dangerous way to get hacked and have someone get your bank account. Don't do your banking a different way, but don't do it in these hotels. Okay, so here we are. We have a single room. It has a single bed. 
an inner courtyard view, which is nice. It means it'll be quieter usually than outside. It has air conditioning. That's great if you're there in the summer. It has its own bathroom. A lot of times bathrooms are shared in Spain. That doesn't bother me because people usually are only in there to take a quick shower or to use the toilet and then they're out. Um, and a lot of those places that have a shared bathroom, whoever owns the place goes in between people and cleans. Um, free cancellation, no prepayment, it's 53 euros. That's a great price. If there are two of you, you could get a twin room or you can get a double bed if you want. There aren't a lot of queen beds in Spain. If they say a double room, a double bed or a matrimonial, that's what we would call a full size bed, a, du a double bed. It's not usually a queen. Um, you get a triple room if you want. So this is a pretty good deal. So if I wanted it, I would click here. Now, I'm not gonna do that because if I do that, you'll see my credit card numbers and my phone number and I don't wanna show those to you. But when you click on here, it will ask you for a credit card number. I have never personally had any problems with giving booking.com my credit card number. I give them my credit card number, I give them my PIN number, and once they've recorded that and they, and they can keep it or not, it's up to you, but I just let them keep it, then every time I book, I use that and it's a lot more convenient. Now, here's something you need to pay attention to. This says free cancellation for 53 euros. It has 48 euros, but that's non-refundable. If this says non-refundable, that's what it means. It means non-refundable. If you cancel, modify, or don't show up, you're gonna play the full price of the reservation. And it's also paid in advance. And it doesn't matter what your situation is, if you cancel, you're still gonna pay the 48. So, you know, it's just a few dollars more, in this case, maybe five euros more. So I just get free cancellation and that's what I would reserve. Okay, so now let's say I don't wanna to go to Madrid airport. Let's say I wanna to go to the center, which is really where I do wanna go when I stay in Madrid. I'm gonna do this search again. And unfortunately you have to go through your filters again. So I'm gonna say, I want free cancellation. I'm gonna go down, down, down. That's annoying. Uh, any of these stations would be good to stay at because the Metro in Spain and, and especially in Madrid is really easy to get, get around in. Um, let's say there are two of us and you want twin beds instead of a double bed. Here's where you would click that. I always ask for very good or suburb. And if you want a private bathroom, this is the place you would click that. Though, again, for me, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now they're gonna give these to me and I'm gonna go the lowest price first. One other thing I didn't click on that I would like to, if I see it. All right, I don't see it. Sometimes they'll say, do you wanna be within a half a mile or, a, or half a kilometer or a kilometer or whatever? So I don't care. All right, these are hostel rooms, a bed and a six bed mixed dorm. Mixed dorm means boys and girls together. You're getting a bunk bed in a mixed dorm with six people. Um, this is a four bed mixed dorm, which can be nice if you're on a budget, it's only 23 euros. Let's see what they say here. These will almost always give you a, uh, a locker to keep your things in, but I highly suggest you keep anything valuable with you, not in your locker, because those lockers are easy to break into. Anyway, here's photos of the place. It's pretty nice. A uh, four, four bed mixed dorm room is 23. If you'd like a three bed female dorm, it's only 25 euros, and that's nice with only three people in it. And you can take a look at it by clicking here. See, there's three twin beds in there. There are your lockers. So that's nice, you're only sharing with two other women. Um, they do have a twin room with a private bathroom with two single beds for 68. So that it's always good to check even though they just say it's a dormitory. Um, and then there's a double room with a double bed. And then there's a family studio. This one has one extra large double bed and a sofa bed. Let's take a look at that. 
might be good for a few pilgrims who are sharing or two pilgrims who are sharing. The sofa bed usually just makes out flat into a bed. Shows you pictures of the bathroom. So those are pretty nice. Triple bed will have three single beds. There's a quad. This quad has two bunk beds, like so. Pictures of your bathroom again. Has air conditioning, city view. So these are, you know, worth looking at. And then to go back, I don't hit the back button. I click this closed and here's my list again. So here's all the dormitories. I just kind of go through them. Now here's a budget single room with free cancellation. It's only 37 euros. Let's see what it looks like. Doesn't look too bad. It's in the center. And the Thiessen's close by, which means the other museums would be close by. It has a private bathroom. So we can take a look at it. Oh, the bathroom has a bathtub. That's kind of nice. Although to me, that's more important when I'm on the Camino than in Madrid. And the rooms are really small, eight square meters. But you know, you just need a place to sleep that's safe. Um, the single room probably is a little bit bigger. It also has a bathtub, which is nice. And yeah, the other rooms, oh, it says this is eight square meters too. There's a double room with a double bed, a small double room, a twin room. Let's see what those look like. Those are 15, those are twice the size, two beds. So that's how you look around. Now, again, you can get a good price for a triple, uh, but it's, and it's eight euros, but it's non-refundable. I, I just ignored those non-refundable ones. I don't like those. I look, I always look at the, um, the map also, let's look at this map. Now, when you open this map, when it first opens up, I just close it because I'm not interested, but here's the deal. Now it's showing me, this is where my place is for 37, the one I was looking at. But all of these others that have, that are clear like this or white in the middle, those are open. Uh, this one, there's no more room. But so we're, we're looking at one here for 37, let's, upgrade a little bit and see what we think. What about if we went to this pension? It's 8.4, the same as the new go in, 45 euros. I don't know if it'll be any better of a place or not. Let's take a look at it. We pull it up. It's a double room with a private bathroom. We can take a look. It'll open up another window up here. Wow, that's bright. <laughs> but it's only 350 feet from the Puerto del Sol. Now that's a nice location. That's literally right in the center. It's free cancellation, a single bed and a double bed in there. Two single beds, this twin. Let's take a look at this. That's only 33 euros. Well, it's a tiny room and it's got a shared bathroom. It'll show you a picture of the bathroom. But, you know, to me, the shared bathroom doesn't make a difference. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna move me out of the way. I'm gonna close this one. I'm gonna close the new go in. Now, um, what if we wanted a place right near the Metro station at Seoul? Now we, we've got all these dorms to look at. And what if we wanted it for two people? Let's change it. Two of us are going. We want one room for two people. Same night in the center. Now they're telling us that this hostel that we like doesn't have availability for a double for a double room on that night. It's filling up. But here are others, and we can do. Now they're giving us an option of best reviewed and lowest price. So I'm going to click that. The genius is something that I get because I uh, it's, I book so often. Um, what if we don't want to look at dormitories? Can we just look at rooms? Let's look and see. We only want twin beds. We want double beds. We only want good and superb. 
Now let's see what happens. All right. Hostile aerosol comes up a lot and I think it's probably a really good place to stay. But there are a lot of others. Now these have 9.1 and 9.0, which are wonderful uh, reviews. So these would be things that I would really consider. This looks very nice. Let's take a look at it. Looks very clean, very sweet. Tells you it's only a thousand feet from the Prado and the Thiessen, which is very good. They have 24 hour reception, which is good if you're coming in late. Uh, twin bed with a private bathroom. Okay, free cancellation before almost midnight on 7 May. So you're checking in on 11 May. You need to make a note that if you're gonna cancel, you need to do it, I would say, 6 May because of the time difference, all right? Otherwise you're gonna get charged and there's no sense arguing. Let's take a look at this room. There's all these pictures. So there's a twin room, there's two twin beds. You guys can push them apart if you want, depending on who you're with, I guess. But the rooms are small. Oh, they give you coffee in the morning, that's nice. Got a toilet and a bidet. Oh, and you have a bathtub, I like that a lot. Some of the bathtubs in Spain are little tiny things. They're really funny looking. Air conditioned room, a private bathroom. Oh, they have a hair dryer, which is nice, a mini bar. So this is a nice place and I probably would be happy to stay there. Let's take a look at where it is by show the map. Now, if you look at this map, let's see. There's the Anthropology Museum. There's El Retiro, which is a beautiful park to visit. Here's the Prado. This place is right at the Prado. So that's really, really a good place to be. Let's make this bigger. Here's the Thiessen. So here's your hotel here and there's the Thiessen. You're right at the Prado. Museo de las Ilusiones. I don't know what that is. I've never stayed there. There's the Reina Sofia which means you're very close to Atosha Renfe station as the train station. So this is a really nice place and I would be very likely to take it. And that's 71 euros. Here's another one with, it says fabulous and it's 62. So you're gonna save 10 euros by going here if you wanna open it and look at it. So you get the picture. Uh, the things to pay attention to are, uh, make sure your dates are correct. Make sure you take a look at the photos so you know what you're getting. Make sure you get free cancellation. Make sure you get no prepayment. Sometimes they will check your credit card. You might get a one or two euro charge on there. Be sure before you start doing this, you contact your credit card or bank and let them know that you're going to be um, doing this because they may decline. Um, this is a double room with an extra bed. So actually two or three people could stay there. Again, I would go and look at the room, see what it looks like, look through the pictures. Looks okay, it's kind of weird looking, but it's got a nice balcony. I like to have a balcony. I like to be able to get fresh air in there because a lot of times they use really strong cleaning products. I've been known to take a towel and mop the floor with it because they use this really strong sanitizer on the floor and it gives me a headache. Um, okay. So you get the picture. So that's basically what you do to use it. And then if you decide to book it, you say how many rooms you want. You say, I'll reserve it. Well, I'm getting a discount. So I'm gonna reserve it with my discount. Do I, oh, now it's gonna give me an upgraded room. This is a double room with a 12 meter room and a balcony and an inner courtyard view. Now they're telling me, for the same price, I can get a double room with an extra bed. So yeah, I'd probably say, yeah, I wanna be upgraded. So once you do that, then they'll ask you for your credit card information. They'll ask you for the names of the people and that's it, that's all you do. Using booking.com is really easy and I, I use it for all my um, reservations. Santiago de Compostela, be sure you type de Compostela because there's a Santiago in different uh, countries besides Spain. Again, you just do your search. And in Santiago, in Pamplona, in Burgos, 
uh, in Astorga, in all those places, I try to get in Old Town. I try to get in the old part of the city. And sometimes they give you an option, sometimes they don't. In Santiago or any of these, I'd say less than a half mile. I'd say free cancellation. Uh, what else? Um, superb and very good. And then best reviewed and lowest prices. And then I just go down and look. Now, prices are high in Santiago right now for extra nights. So if it were me, I would be getting on there right now and booking if you know the days that you'll arrive. 0.5 miles from the center is very close to the center. Let's take a look at the map just because I want to show you the center. The center means the cathedral and the surrounding old town area. Hopefully that map will pop up. Here it comes. Okay, you can see the cathedral here. And all this uh, part here is pretty much, well, up to here. All this part that's kind of tan color is Old Town. This is right out of Old Town apparently. But look, here's one that's very good for 62 euros, right in Old Town. Here's one for 77 for fabulous. 129 superb, 189. This has a, uh, I think this has a view of the cathedral. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna pay that. Uh, yeah, so any of this area would be good, but if it were me, I would try to get right in here in these uh, areas, right in Old Town near the cathedral. Now, if you're going to book those, you should be booking them pretty dang quick because they're going to go fast. Let's take a, a look at this place. I'm going to close some of these because I don't need them. This looks like a very nice place. It's in the heart, a one minute walk from the cathedral. That's great. Oh, and they give you a free buffet breakfast. Now, that's something you should consider in the price. Um, the price is a little high for two people, but when you break that in half, 130, uh, it's like 65 per person. The breakfast would cost you probably at least 10 to 12 euros in town. And so, you know, you're paying 50 bucks per person for, for a room right next to the cathedral. That's not bad at all. Um, people are not, it's a buffet breakfast and they're usually pretty darn good. Let's see what the rooms look like. This is a budget room. It has a nice shower. The room looks fine to me. It's got a window. So that looks good. Um, it's a free cancellation. This is non-refundable, but you're gonna pay a little less. A double or a twin room is a little more. Oh, look, for 139, you get a cathedral view, but it's a double bed. So there need to be two really friendly pilgrims or one person who is willing to pay a little extra. But that's pretty sweet that you can open that up and get the cathedral view. And that's a nice looking room. Also, it has a private bathroom, which is good, and air conditioning. A double room with an extra bed. They've got quad rooms. And again, $199 seems like a lot, but when you consider you're only paying 25 euros per pilgrim and that includes a breakfast, that's an excellent price. Um, and then a single room here is uh, 129. So, you know, poke around on booking.com, make sure that you do free cancellation. And then I suggest, and I do this all the time, that you, I'm going to stop screen sharing. I suggest that you get on there every week or so and look again, because what will happen is people like me who have groups will book up entire lots of rooms. And then as people cancel or change, maybe, <laughs> for instance, I had seven people who all wanted private rooms, so I booked private rooms. And then I had two people cancel and one person came in with a friend or had a friend come in and was willing to share. So now all of a sudden I need a twin room. So I canceled 
one of my private rooms, which freed it up for someone else. Um, I never block out more rooms than I know I'll need, but I know people do go in and block out big blocks of rooms. And then as their groups fill up and they don't, or don't fill up and they don't need the rooms anymore, they let them go. So it's always a good idea to get free cancellation. It's always a good idea to go in. A, I go in at least once a month, it's most of the time every two weeks uh, and look and see if there's anything at a better price, but at the places where I do on booking.com. And then I go in just a week or two before I leave on my trip, because sometimes at the last minute, people will cancel rooms. Now you can't do that if you're booking places directly like Roncesvalles or uh, Orison, places where you have to pay your full amount and to get your, your place. They may or may not refund you. And they're certainly not gonna make a lot of changes for one person, but um, booking.com, if you get free cancellation, it's really easy to manipulate. So I hope that's helping you. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, you know, you can go to little villages and they may or may not have places to stay. For those places, I would check Grons. Let's see what's on Grons. Just a minute, let's share this screen again. And I'll show you Grons. I don't know, this, this might be getting too long. Let's go to Grons. I probably should do a whole other video on this. But say you're gonna walk the Via de la Plata on Grons. Well, here you can look at the stages. You can see how long they are, 18, 28, 33. 33 is too far for me to walk. So I'll click on this stage and I'll go, oh, look, there's a place in the middle here called Real de la Jara. I happen to have stayed there before. I love their pilgrim hostel. It's only eight euros. Somebody doesn't like it, but I liked it. Let's take a look. I actually like this little place. It's funny that it doesn't have a good review. Let's see what the comments say. Poor facilities, dirty and run down. Well, you know, you're paying eight euros. How about you go buy some cleaning supplies and clean the place up? That's what I would do. When we were there, it was really uh, quite clean, even with dirty sheets. Wash the sheets and dry them. They're there in March. Not a lot of people there in March. So these are also like January, March, April, not a lot of pilgrims during that time. So personally, I wouldn't pay a lot of attention to that, but I would stay there. I've stayed there before and I found it fine. And as I recall, it was nice in the summer, but um, you know, maybe, maybe it isn't. But if you don't wanna stay there, here's a pilgrim accommodation for 10 euros. It apparently is kept up. It, it's got 10 positive places. Um, it, right here, it says supports reservation. Yes. So that means you can email and ask for a reservation for the night you're staying. They have a shared dorm, 10 euros for a place in the dormitory. They have 12 places and they have four bedrooms and they have bedrooms for two and four people. So if you just wanted to share with one other person, you could email them and try to secure a room that way. So that's another way that you can go. And Grands has um, a lot of the different routes. If you don't see it right up front, let's go back, back, back. You can click other paths and look, these are all the different Caminos you can take. I'm getting ready uh, to take the Aragonese. So I click on the Aragonese and then it shows me the stages and I can look on the stages and find places for, that I wanna stay and get a budget. If I wanna stay in the Pilgrim Hostel, great. And if I wanna stay in Pension or hotel, you can go to booking and get those places. Now, sometimes right now they're closed. This one is showing it's open. Let me show you something, I just saw it. Okay, here. At uh, Lerda, there, see this little circle with a line through it? That means that this municipal right now is closed, okay? However, it's early in the COVID year. So I would, I would stop by there. And I also might try to get a hold of somebody in that town and see if the place can be opened. Sometimes the police will open it. So it just says temporarily closed, and probably because of COVID, because it's so small. Uh, 
although they do have 26 places. So anyway, so that's how you use Grons. That's how you use booking. And I'm going to stop sharing now. And this is getting really long. So I'm going to end this, try to upload it to YouTube, and hopefully it will be helpful. Wayne Camino.